Sorry about that. He has a bill. Let's hear it, player one. Um, where's Beauty and the Beast? You got it. Choose again, player one. This two-letter word is also a Pacific Northwest State's postal abbreviation. Same. It's player three. What is or? That is correct. You get to pick again, player three. This conjunction comes before rain, heat, and gloom of night in the United States Postal Service credo. Yes, player one. That's it. We return to you, player Take one. away an eye from the end of a fabled Himalayan creature, and you get this conjunction. Okay, player one. It's yet. Right. Please pick again. This three-letter conjunction is commonly replaced by a symbol in Jeopardy clues. Let's hear it, player one. There's and. Yep. <laughs> player one. This conjunction is also the symbol for a poisonous element. It's player three. Samuel. Is that? That's correct. You again, player three. You throw records for four. You're the four pound, one ounce, this of my eye. If you're the record this picked by a farmer in 2005. Player one? What is Apple? Woo! Correct. Select again. 800. Stephen Clark was out of his gourd when he carved a face in one of these in 24.03 seconds. Yes, player one. What is watermelon? Oh, Sorry, that's no. Wrong. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Same. Player one. three. Cantaloupe. No. Oh. Well, that narrows it down. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Okay, player two. It's a pumpkin. <laughs> yes. Player two, back to you for our next selection. Guinness has recognized Lucky Diamond Rich as the person with the most these. Even his eyelids are covered. Let's hear it, player one. Our hairs? Oh, no. Going the wrong Any way now. Papers? Here's the correct response. Tattoos. Player two, back to you. 1600. I'm looking over an 18 leaf, this type of plant found in 2002 that I overlooked before. It's player one. There's a clover. Oh. That is correct. There we go. Player one. You pick again, please. In 57 minutes, 51 seconds, a New York man took the 1,899 steps in the fastest pogo stick jumping up this Toronto landmark. What is the CN yes, Tower? Yes, player one. Yes. Choose again, player one. This 2001 title role was meant for Emily Watson, but she didn't speak French. Audrey Tattoo got the part. Let's hear it, player three. Right. <laughs> player three, back to you for our next selection. This star of Chocolat and The English Patient made her film debut in the 1982 French film Liberty Bell. Okay, Samuel? player three. Juliette Binoche. All right. <laughs> Please pick again, player three. Herculean effort. This wife of Zeus sent two serpents to kill Hercules as a baby. He strangled them. Player oh, three. I didn't get in. Oh, oh this Lego. Nope. Anyone else? It's player one. 
Who is... Who is Athena? Oh. Ah! Oh. I started to say Hera and then I went with something else. It is Hera. Okay, layer but, two. Not uh, too late. You are correct. Katie's now at 6,200. You get to pick again, layer two. Killian at 800. Here's Kelly. As one of his labors, Hercules had to dog nap this three-headed beast from Hades. It's player one. Who is Hydra? No. No, and I'm starting to go the wrong way again. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's the response we were looking for. Cerberus. We return to you, player 1200. Two. Hercules joined this husband of Medea for a journey aboard the Argo. Oh, I know that, but I... Whose face is? Oh, I'm wrong. Sorry. Anyone now else? I've got a chance. Yes, player one. Who is Jason? Oh, there we go. Player one, Hercules literally took the weight of the world off his shoulders when he needed help with some golden apples. Samuel. Let's hear it, player three. Who is Atlas? Yes. <laughs> player three, back to you. 2000. Hercules had to wrestle with one of these creatures that fathered the Minotaur. Samuel. Okay, player three. What is a bull? That's correct. Right. And Samuel is now up to second place with 6,600. Pick again. The cinema for 16. In 1956, Roger Vadim directed his first film, And God Created Woman, which starred this actress, his then wife. Let's hear it. Play two. Bridget Bardot. Good right. 7,800. Choose again, player two. Science potpourri for This four. age is divided into the Paleolithic, the Mesolithic, and the Neolithic. It's player one. What is the Bronze Age? That's not oh. it. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Samuel. Player three. Stone. Hey, you're right. You again, player three. Cinema for 2000. This director, son of a famous impressionist painter, is perhaps best known for his 1937 film, Grand Illusion. Yes, player two. That's Ooh. right, way to go. Select again. Science Potpourri 800. The Oxford English Dictionary defines it as the science of man or of mankind in the widest sense. Let's hear it, player one. With psychology? Oh. No, that's not right. <sighs> Going the wrong way again. Anyone else? I'm leading by only 3,000. Okay, player three. What is anthropology? Good. Right. 7,800. You get and to I'm pick again, a bit here now. Science potpourri for 12. Let's go over to Kelly. The type of bond that holds salt molecules together. It shares its name with an order of architecture. It's player one. What is a... Ionic bond? Right. There we go. Can't seem to get past the $14,000 mark. Again. Science for 1600. Answer there is a daily oh, double. The first of the daily double. You are currently in the lead. How much are you going to wager, player one? 2,000. Gustav Kirchhoff and Robert Bunsen used this prism scope to see the bands of colored light each element produced. It is a spectroscope. That puts you even further ahead. 16,000. We return to you, player Name one. Name for a physicist. It's the amount of work done when one amp passes through one ohm of resistance for one second. Samuel. 
Samuel. Player three was Jewel. You are correct. Right. Tied for second place now. Player three, back to you. In the 1920s, this fascist leader of Italy set up a puppet regime in Albania and reconquered Libya. Yes, player one. Who is Benito Mussolini? Yeah. Right you are. You again, player one. Elizabeth II succeeded her father, this man who died unexpectedly at age 56. Katie? Player two. Who's George the Sixth? Right. We're at 10,006. Player two. 20 Back to you for our next selection. On February 8th, 1904, Japanese ships attacked this country's fleet at Lushun, Manchuria, beginning a war. It's player one. Uh, what is Russia? <laughs> right. Select again. Pardon me. Alright, uh, 1600. Answer. The other daily double. Yeah! Answer. The second daily double. You are in the lead right now. Please select the wager. 2400. Answer this. On February 15th, 1965, Canada's new flag, which featured an 11 pointed one of these, <sighs> flew for the first time. What is a maple leaf? You have maintained your lead. Way to go. And the two thousand dollar clue. clue. On Valentine's Day, nineteen eighty nine, the Ayatollah Khomeini showed no love for this author's satanic verses, giving him a death sentence. Katie, let's hear it. Player two. Who is Salman Rushdie? Right. That is right. So at the end of Double Jeopardy, Katie's twelve thousand six hundred. Samuel at nine eight hundred, and me twenty thousand dollars. Here comes the final Not Jeopardy. A runaway. The category. Yeah, our category for this. final Jeopardy. Historic, Historic purchases. purchases. Okay. Uh, let's see. Five thousand two. Uh, five thousand two hundred and one. Each direction on the plus control pad right, represents a different response. One is my wager. Press a direction to select an answer. And, and now let's take a look at our final Jeopardy clue. The English received this person from the Burgundians in 1431 for the sum of 10,000 francs. Who is Joan of Arc? Samuel, we'll what start with you. your response? You said who is Joan of Arc. And <laughs> you are right. And, and you are going to add two thousand eight hundred and five dollars. That brings you to twelve thousand six oh five. Katie, see your, your response. response? Who is Richard the Lionhearted? That is incorrect. And of course, it's going to cost you seven thousand four oh five. That'll drop you to five thousand one ninety five. Did you come up with the correct response? Joan of Arc, yep. With that correct response, you will gain. I had 5,201. That'll take me to 25,201. And I have won again. Yeah. Congratulations to you, player one. And I've now broken the $100,000 mark at 102,801. So long. Again. And we'll see you all next time for another game of Jeopardy.